if they didn't reach out and touch you, it sure wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> You don't need to say anything. Oh my goodness, that is gorgeous. Oh my goodness, that's amazing. So. Wow, that is beautiful. If you'd like to follow the process of turning a block of wood like this into a guitar like this, then you've come to the right place. And if you would like to see me give this guitar away, click subscribe hit the bell. In an uncontrolled environment, back plate that I was able to work out for that control plate there. Actually, I am very, very pleased at how this turned out. I think that's going to be an incredible headstock. Currently in the Chicago area, heading up to Milwaukee to go help out uh, Pierre Lee with the guitar that I built him with those back plates. See if we can get them fixed now. I talked about it a couple of episodes ago, and now it's time to actually get there and do some work on it. I'm not driving all this way just to do this. Yesterday, my daughter graduated from college. Ashley Lene Steele. <laughs> Pierre lives just a, about an hour and a half or so away from where my daughter is at. So I'm gonna go up there now and get together with him. Mr. Untouchable Lee, you make it really hard to surprise. <laughs> How you doing, man? I'm doing good. <laughs> You know how much he loves you? <laughs> My little brother. <laughs> oh, no. Dang, I didn't get your reaction. <laughs> oh, we got it. We oh, got it. Go, okay. Oh, you going to make me cry. <laughs> wow, that is beautiful. Oh. Gonna work for you? Yes, this, oh my goodness. I have a show tonight. I'm bringing it to my show tonight. <laughs> oh, I have to give you a hug. <laughs> <laughs> This guitar that Pierre has is a guitar that I uh, was one of my giveaways a few months back. And since then, the humidity and stuff has changed a little bit around, well, from where I built it and all of that. And I set that action pretty low on the, on the fretboard. And so now it's buzzing out a little bit. So I'm gonna loosen the truss rod just a little bit and then fix that back plate issue that he had. And we're gonna get that taken care of. Nip it in the bud. Got home, you know, I was at church. Yeah. Um, it was, it's been a long kind of day. Oh man, <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> so I am here with Pierre and we're gonna work on getting his guitar. What's going on? A couple things right now. The first thing is the truss rod is just a little too tight. And so it's, uh, see that buzz? Yeah. That's the big one? Yeah. That one a little bit. Oh, that one's... <laughs> oh, and we're totally gone there. Okay. Wow. That really adjusted. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to loosen everything up. Going to take uh, off the truss rod cover and then we're going to loosen the truss rod a little bit. We'll start with that. So, so what are you doing? Uh, right now, I'm going to loosen the truss rod. The truss so, rod. What the truss? T R U. Yeah, not truss. Like if truss. you have a hernia kind of truss. What a truss rod is truss is, rod. yep. There is a bar. There's a metal bar that runs all the way through the wood of the neck. So what's going on with the truss rod? You tighten the truss rod and it bends it this way. What you're trying to do is you're trying to get as flat of a fretboard as you possibly can get. 
Okay. Gotcha. If the truss rod is tightened too much and it goes this way, then it will fret out these first two frets. These frets, or, or, the or first wherever. Okay, I mean, it could gotcha. be a variety of places. So, All right. Uh, so that's the first thing we're going to do is loosen that. Thank you, Pierre. Okay. Surprise. See what I just did? Oh, yeah. I just took it one half turn. Missing. Okay. So this is an eight millimeter. I put it on there and I turned it one a half. Uh -huh. This is where it gets really putsy because now I'm going to tune it up and then see if it and see if it's good. If it's not, I'm going to do it a little bit more. And the other thing is, is it can take a few days to adjust totally. And you're actually in like a different zone than we are. We're Minnesota. We're in what's zone four. You guys are actually in zone five. What I see for like, mm -hmm. like if you're a gardener, yeah, you know, which which you know. So yeah. okay, when we plant our stuff is different. Yeah, right. So you've got a different zone. Do you know what the Hall of Presidents is? No, I don't know what that uh -huh. one is. I haven't okay. seen that one. It's, it's like some pictures and then, and then they show kind of a movie. And then people come out that are impersonating the... No, they're animatronics. That's what makes it so cool. They're not impersonating. They those are, those are, they're not real people? No, those they're are real people. No, those are robots. That's what makes it so cool. They are all robots. No, well, those were no. That's the whole point of it. They're all robots. When Abraham Lincoln stood up, there's a robot. Those pu those are all puppets. No, those were no. They're not. That's what. That's what. Why I, mean, I wanted to see it. Those are all puppets. No, no. You know how hard it is to tune with. Uh, oh, I'm know. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. You know what? While we're doing this. Let's talk music. I want to, uh, so you play, because you've played jazz, you uh, play blues. Yeah. I saw you do Minnie the Moocher as Cab Calloway. <laughs> oh, yes, I did Which that. was awesome. Thank you. I, it was incredible. It was really, yes. yeah, it really was. So if you know, so you like that music too? I mean, yes. Because I do too. My wife and I love the old movies and stuff. And so, do you know like the Nicholas Brothers? The Nicholas, yes, the Tap Dancing Brothers. Oh my goodness. Aren't they... Pharaoh and, and Hare Nicholas, uh, I think it was. Oh, that's where Michael Jackson came Michael so Jackson, yeah, my, the, those tap, you know, Sammy Davis Jr., the Nicholas Brothers, uh, Dorothy Dandridge, all those kind of, that era of, of, Entertainer, I won't even call them actors or dancers. That whole era of they entertainer, were, they had to sing, dance, play. And watching them do these jump, I mean, they're like jumping into the air, off tables, coming down and doing the splits. Have over, you ever seen yeah, them? Over the mm -hmm. stairs, going down the stairs. You cannot believe these two guys. It it looks like they're, it's impossible. And, and It's like, what's going on? And this is what, like 1934? Oh, yeah. amazing! And, and they're doing they're recording it live. And they're and what they do, like people now don't. I mean, they wouldn't be like, able to do it. Oh my goodness! So and they're like the shoes they're wearing and stuff. It's not you know it's they're, they're doing gymnastics, but they're doing it in shoes and suits and, and suits and that are tux, tuxes and all that stuff. So somebody just made my day here too. Uh -huh. How was your big side? Right over here. Um, not, not a lot of action. This is Woody Chili Sauce Kane. I'm making him a guitar right now. Yeah, yeah. I just got to meet him. This is awesome. So here I have got, and this is the deal. So Woody has been friends with Pierre. I gave the guitar <laughs> to Pierre. Woody saw it. He wanted one. So we're getting him one. Only, I got to say this. Woody's like, Pierre's not good enough. <laughs> 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 not good enough. Mine's got to have jewelry to it. <laughs> a little drama. Oh, yeah, yeah. A little drama. We're getting some bling on it. So, all right, yeah, this is kind of a scary thing if you don't know what you're doing. We're going to route out pickup cavity so it's just a little bit bigger here. The screws are going to be able to sit in there and not have the issue that we're having with that bubbling up in the middle there. <laughs> Get <Hold> my hand. <laughs> Get nervous. <laughs> How far back we go, man? Like fat back in Cadillac? <laughs> like two flats in the Cadillac, man. We've been going back all, all the way. So long. Like Stevie Wonder's headline. <laughs> <laughs> Steve's taking the approach. He's <laughs> <laughs> on the grave. Hey, I don't want to screw it up, you know? 
Yeah, look, the talk to him when he messes with your guitar. <laughs> <laughs> right. Look up. So it's pre-surgery here. All right. It should be that quick and easy. Okay. You can let go. Remind you to go in the dentist? <laughs> Wasn't as painful. <laughs> This much though. Scares the Jesus out of me. I know. You know. You know, I'm that since when. Prom? <laughs> <laughs> you on the roll today. I told you, Woody, that Terry got me so good that day. I didn't even want to get out of the bed. Because Terry, Terry is a horrible liar. Terry is a horrible liar. That is so awesome. I love that. Walking out in heaven. <laughs> Having your face, and you, to all of a sudden you recognized who I was. <laughs> yeah, I was like, what? <laughs> I'm like, hey, how you doing? <laughs> How'd you recognize? <laughs> because I watched his videos. Oh, I always watch his oh, videos. Yeah, oh. I always watch his videos. So <laughs> I'm walking up to the restaurant. Terry said he was getting an award from school. Oh, at the restaurant. Give me that thing. Yeah. And I'm like, why is you getting an award from the rest? And I'm and why are they going to call me? I said, why are they going to call me? <laughs> you fell for that one. Yeah, and I'm like, Terry, I'm tired. I'm like, okay, Terry, I'm, here I come. I'll do something on. So did you get an ice cream call this award? <laughs> 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 and I'm like, okay. Was it a butter burger? Yeah, right. That's what, that's what I'm saying. I'm like, are we eating? And I'm like, why, why are they ha handing it out? So as soon as we get out the, 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 the Uber, I'm dragging. I got on, I did, you know, I'm like, uh, I'm wrinkled. And him, his wife, and his son, they walk out with cameras. Hey, Pierre, Mr. Untouchable <laughs> So I'm, I, hey, how you doing? I'm just trying to say, hey, oh, hey. And I'm like, oh, and I'm like, Terry, you got me. You got That's me good. good. You got me good. I'm going to have me in there crying in the restaurant. Uh, Rhythm and Blues magazine. Rhythm, Rhythm and Blues. It was a really nice out of, article. Out of the UK, yeah. Yeah. I need to get a copy of that. Ooh, that looks an awful lot like this pretty face <laughs> right here. <laughs> About five pounds lighter. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that hand. <laughs> wait till he start. Wait till he start recording. He was. Uh, I'm putting on the 24 karat gold flake. I'm gonna call and make him sneeze. <laughs> It's gonna be gold flake everywhere. <laughs> it's an Oreo. <laughs> right? <laughs> Double stuff. <laughs> Double stuff. <laughs> <laughs> but it's damn good inside. It's weird. The three stair, stair steps. <laughs> chink, chink, chink. Yep, yep, yep. Here, before we close, what are the words of wisdom from a musician in Milwaukee, Wisconsin? If they didn't reach out and touch you, it sure wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs>